Today we're exploring Vegan City. And it's the Longanisa Festival. Hey everyone, my name is Chino. And I'm Alex. And welcome to Chino, Chino and Alex. Alex. Today we're actually in Vegan City. We're going to be exploring this this old town. Vegan City is actually known for its preserved Spanish colonial architecture and if you didn't know, it's also one of the seven wonder cities of the world. So we actually got lucky because it happens to be the Longanisa festival today or starting from today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to explore the town but also the festival itself. So let's go. at Calle Crisologo, which is the famous street here in Vegan City. Yeah. And we can tell that there's so much like so chalesa, busy. which Look. are like horse carriages. There's like side okay. stores yeah. as well. And the so freaking, cool. it's just so beautiful here. Like yeah. I didn't expect it to be this beautiful. They really preserve that historical yeah. Spanish. I was gonna say the like buildings. Landscapes. Yeah. yeah. And the architecture, so they've really kept like the historic landmarks the buildings like even the this is a monk in a cell right here <laughs> it looks like it's the first one they ever made <laughs> it's like the vintage look um monk in a cell and the restaurants here yeah. are all like vintage as well which yeah. is so fascinating yeah and yeah. they really like preserve it here what you can find here is a lot of souvenir shops just on this side of these buildings so these are things that you can purchase so you can bring it back home oh. got a lot of like t-shirt and like um what do you call this? The wood kind of souvenirs. Mm. It's just so beautiful. Like wooden bags wooden, kind yeah. of tie. Or the walis. The walis. <laughs> Which is a broom. Yeah. <laughs> a broomstick. One mode of transport here um, that's very common in Vigan City is actually through the horses and these carriages. Not too sure if we're going to ride them. Not sure how, if they take care of the horses well yeah. or whatnot. Could be unethical. But I guess I just wanted to share that with you guys because it is very prominent here in, uh, in yeah. Vegan City. And I think they take you to like the touristy spots. So when you ride one, I'm pretty sure they take you to the touristy spots here in Vegan City, which is just actually like a nice ride, I guess, yeah. just going around the whole city. Vegan City is actually known for their bagnet and longanisa. So bagnet is like pork crackling and then longanisa is your like sausages, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, they look so yummy. Can I buy? What do you want to buy? So I'm going to get a fan because it is so, so freaking hot oh, yeah. here in vegan. It's, yeah, when it's you're in the sun, oh my God, I'm just sweating. Luckily, we're under the shade because of the buildings. Okay, we'll get one. We'll get oh, one. It's a long. What matches my dress? This one? Ooh. What does that say? Oh, that's so pretty! Oh, sh**! Nice! It's a lang ate. Okay, po. It's so pretty, look. This is a good, like, little costume photo thing. But also a necessity here in Vegan City. So I just bought there for my pie, and it's like 35 pesos each. But you can get three for 100 if there's like a lot of you. But look at their, like, souvenirs. So they have longanisa, and then they have a lot of these. Keychains? Yeah, keychains. These shops are actually like everywhere. Yeah. I like this one. It's for your head. <laughs> That's so satisfying, that one. Yeah. But yeah, if you need to bring like souvenirs to your family, there's literally like lines and lines of stores here in Calle Crisologo. Right, you guys. So the whole squad is here exploring today. Jan and Andrew. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. Finally together again. Exploring Vegan City. They're just taking photos for this trip here because they've actually been here before so they're yeah. kind of they're actually showing us around showing us this wonderful city of vegan what'd you guys get? Right. Mango. Oh, mango. mango no I'm good I don't, yeah. eat. <laughs> you? No. I don't eat like I'm not right manga right so it's too bitter <laughs> From Kalia Crisologo. Crisologo. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> Crisologo. Okay, so from there we've walked to the plaza of the Which town. Which is just like literally 10 steps away. Yeah, it's, it's like a one minute walk. 
but they've got the festival going on here right now in the backdrop. We filmed a little bit already and it's, it's crazy loud. It's so lively. I don't yeah. think I've been to a festival in the Philippines. So. Yeah. It's like a competition, so they do like a dance. Um, with actually longanisa on their plates, which is so so I know. cool. It's so crazy. And it's actually a lot of there's a lot of people right now. I mean, obviously, festivals in the Philippines are really popular. If you ever come across a festival, definitely check it out. It's yeah. so so fun. Let's go out and see what they're gonna get up to. The atmosphere here is absolutely hectic. Left, right and center, there's, there's crowds of people. There's like multiple dance events going on in different streets. It's actually so, so fun. It's, so fun. it's a I little bit overwhelming. It. It's, it's hot. It's just because it's, it's you're in crowds music. of people. Yeah, I know. But it's, it's so cool, honestly. I've never experienced anything and like this. Like their costumes, you can see on the side, it's just very like colorful and vibrant. And yeah, I just true. love that they're holding the longanisa itself. Each yeah. like dancers are holding the longanisa, <laughs> yeah. which is just so fun. That was crazy. <laughs> because we are tired. It yeah. was only like a couple of hours literally watching them mm -hmm. and walking around the streets of Vegan City. But we are a little bit tired. Yeah. We're gonna come back later tonight though so we can show you what it looks like yeah. at night. I'm very curious too what it's gonna be yeah. like at night. Two hours later. We are back in town, back at the plaza, near the fountain. And yeah. uh, look at this building though. Nice lights, huh? So we're just about to watch the, um, the fountain lights. I got a shower from that. I know, I want to jump in. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, At least we got really the end of it, huh? Yeah, yeah so my, my dad actually saw this many years ago and he has a video on his phone. Looks like a potato video. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so crazy to see him person. So the plan tonight is we're gonna walk around the street of Vegan City, mainly the Calia Cristal to go so yeah. that you can see what it looks like as well. Because it's really beautiful. Yeah, we want to show you what it's like during nighttime and we also want to eat here. Because <laughs> last time we came here too late, so uh, let's explore, right? Okay, so we're actually at the Plaza Burgos now, which is their main plaza here. And there's so much people. So I many. The street dancing is still happening, like the competition, because we yeah. hear drums everywhere. There's a whole schedule planned out for today, actually for like from the 21st yeah. to the 25th of January. Yeah. So this is just one of the days of like organized chaos here in Vegan City. So you know what I love about Vegan City? At night, they have so much street food like this. And there's like corn, pancakes, beef patties as well. Like just like a lot of random like street food snacks. And it's at night, which is so cool. It's 
actually like so packed today because obviously there's a festival but also it's a weekend a lot of people yeah. come to vegan city to yeah. go around it's crazy business. yes i mean if you don't want much people highly recommend come on a weekday as well so if you don't know about me i love 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 antique shops and like vintage shops but this one this is authentic very very authentic antique shop it looks dusty <laughs> looks creepy like I love antique furniture I remember when I was prepping up my room I would make sure to buy vintage like furniture this one's so nice wow. there's so much art in here art and like a lot of sculptures as well it's so fascinating I think this word really comes alive at night. Yeah. So obviously before, during the day, there was a lot of people already, but nighttime is such a vibe here. Yeah, so we're back in Crisiologo. Kalia Crisiologo. <laughs> now we're on the way to find dinner. Um, it's about almost 8 o'clock now, actually. But yeah, we were actually here a couple of days ago looking at places to dine in, but we arrived at like 9 o'clock. It was super late. So now we're going to try it out. Hopefully we find something really nice in this city. So we are at Heritage Sky Bar. It's actually on the rooftop of Cafe Casa, Casa de Blanca, something Casa like that. Blanca. Casa Blanca. So it's towards the end of Calle Crisologo. Thank you. There we go. The food has arrived. So much. Oh my gosh, the food here looks so nice. So we'll see if it tastes nice. So the food is here. Alex and I ordered creamy garlic chicken pasta, something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yum. So Anne got breakfast. Chicken and waffles. <laughs> Jolly waffles. <laughs> Jan got a what was it? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng and jewel. I got the chicken katsu. Yum. I just got air. You know, <laughs> I'm just gonna breathe it. <laughs> a few moments later. Yes, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yum. Taste test. <laughs> <laughs> It's Whoa. Huge. <laughs> it's so now that we've got our cutlery, taste test, honest taste test, guys. Wait, let's go with the pasta first. Mmm, really good. It just took a little while. No, oh yeah, it took a while to come here. It's pretty cool. They play really good music here too. So, if you want somewhere away from the crowd, a little bit more private, with good music, good food too, like huge servings. Should come here. So after dinner, we did kind of miss the festivities at the plaza. We're just gonna grab some more food. We literally just ate though, but we're gonna grab some more food. We're all here at the street food, and Alex is gonna order corn with like condensed milk. So we got this like corn with condensed milk and also cheese for like 30 pesos. Yeah, that's so good. I usually just have the corn, but now they have condensed in it, so we'll All see right. how it taste tastes test, like. Test. Powder, it looks so good. Let's taste try. Test. I'm so good. Oh yeah? The powder is so good. It's like what is it, sweet, yeah, cheese, but mm. it's like a little bit sweet. Oh, that's good. And then with condensed milk, it's just tiny, that's not much sweet. at all. <laughs> But it's actually really, really good. Yeah, I like the smell like, powder. I want to get more. <laughs> so for the guys, we all got mango shakes. Uh, you can't go wrong with mango shakes here in the Philippines. It's literally just on the side of the street. Plenty of vendors around, so yeah. How much was it? This one was 90 pesos. This is the cheapest we've gotten so far. Try it. Yeah. Oh yeah, taste test. Loading, loading. Oh. Is it legit? And there's there's mango bits inside too. There's mango bits inside, you can see. You want? Yes. <laughs> Guys, what a crazy day in Vegan City. And for it to be our first impression, <laughs> honestly, it left such a good impression on us. Because it was our first time seeing a festival in person. I mean, for me, 
I believe. How about you when you were younger? When I was younger, I've seen some festivals, but yeah. this one here in Vegan obviously is my first time. Yeah, in a long time. Which was so fascinating. I love the dances, I love the costume, and I love how they were holding the Longanisa yeah. itself. <laughs> it's so cool. We really hope you enjoyed the shots from the drone to our camera. It was pretty fun to document uh, that festival. So, yeah, as you can see, Vegan City is full of culture. Um, not even just the people, but the buildings itself. It has that historic value to it. Don't forget to just <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!